Hey there, and welcome to another Ad Skills tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about Facebook custom conversions, what they are, and how to use them. If you've never watched an Ad Skills video before, I just wanted to say welcome. My name is John Belcher, I'm the teacher here at Ad Skills, and we're super excited to have you. So, Facebook custom conversions are a way to help you measure your results and optimize your campaign performance when you're running Facebook ads. They're absolutely crucial if you ever want to have success advertising on Facebook. So how do they make your life better? Well, you have the ability to go through and add your custom conversions and the cost per custom conversion to your standard reports for each campaign. So you can determine what each campaign is producing for as far as volume and cost per result. Second, you can help your campaigns optimize to that particular action. So one of the big things that we talk about because we're now in Facebook's max ad load age is optimizing the particular conversion that's gonna help you produce the best financials. That's not always the conversion that you're expecting. So a lot of people try and optimize their campaigns for purchases where you should absolutely start. But if you get the opportunity, moving your campaign optimization point up the funnel and down the funnel to figure out what's gonna give Facebook the best, most scalable data is a really important tactic to help you reduce your cost per thousands, your CPMs, and increase the scale that Facebook can produce from the lookalike audience side. So lots of advanced stuff. But these are really important to helping you produce the best financials, getting the numbers you need, and optimizing your campaigns. So there's two main types of custom conversions in Facebook. The first is page view conversions, and those are sent whenever someone lands on our particular page, like a thank you page. The others are event conversions, so, so those can either be standard or custom events. If you don't know what events are, I've put a card uh, in the upper right hand corner that links to both our videos on standard and custom events. Make sure you check those out. So, what do you need in order to actually build custom conversions in your Facebook account? Well, you have to have an active Facebook pixel, you have to have page views that you want to use as conversions, or you need to have events that you want to use as conversions. So the way you actually set them up, so you go to the custom conversion option in your menu, you're going to create a new conversion, you can specify a value if you want to, then you're going to go through and test, so you're going to build your conversion, go back and take whatever action you're tracking, and make sure it works, and then you can add it to your campaigns or your reports. So what I'm going to do here is show you A, how to build your conversions, B, how to go through and add them to your campaigns, and C, how to add them to your reports. So let's head over to Facebook and I'll show you how to do this. So now that we're on our Facebook account, the first thing you're going to do is come up and click on the three bars in the upper left hand corner. And you're going to come over here and you want to go to custom conversions. So when you're in the custom conversion menu, if you have any already built, you'll see them here in a list. We've got two for the examples. And then we have the ability to create new custom conversions. So you click here. So what you have the ability to do is add all URL traffic so we can use page views. So if we want to do something like contains traffic traps, we could go through and build a conversion based on this particular anytime someone lands on traffic traps, that's going to be a new conversion. So I'll show you how to do that here. I'm just going to call this traffic traps example. Category would be view content. We're not going to use a value for this, so we would click create. So that's a page view example. All I need to do here is come back, go to our traffic traps page. So now that we've landed on here, whenever someone lands on here, we should have a conversion. So if I come back in here and refresh this page, we should see activity is populated because someone has landed on our traffic traps page. So bingo, active, low volume, but it's, it's working because we did a, a page view. So now that is up and running. The other thing we can do is come back in here and we can do it from an event. So we've got all of our events that we utilize here inside of our account. These are our custom events and you've got your standard events. So you can use whichever one is applicable to you. So if we had something, if we just did purchase, we could come through here and have it be purchase or event parameters. So the event value is value equals greater than, less than, you know, greater than a dollar. So if our value is over a dollar, we can go through and create a custom conversion for this. If it's over $20, what have you. Um, so the big piece here is with the event parameters, if you're already sending the event value, you don't need to add a value down here. It's going to pull in from the parameter side. Now, if you've got something in here, like if you, if you're also sending over product IDs, so if it's, if product ID equals, and you got your product ID, you can go through and call it purchase of whatever product that it is that you've got. I'm not going to actually go through and build a purchase event conversion because I don't want to create a test purchase. But this is really how you go through whatever you're sending over in your events, whether they're standard or custom, you can use these little event parameters to go through and specify which ones you want to be tracking. And then you can say purchase of this product. I want to see which campaign produced purchases of green shirts and how much it's costing us per purchase. So that's really how you go through and you use these custom conversions. So once you've got that set up, 
you can come back over to your ads manager and you can do a couple things. So you can click on columns, you can go to customize columns and you can use whichever uh, particular custom conversions you've already got set up. So if I did mass market path page view, this is a example uh, custom conversion we've got set up. So I could add this and I could add cost per mass market path page view. And so we could go through and add these to our particular reports. So now we can see how many page views there were and our cost per page view. We're not actively using this ad account, so it doesn't apply right now, but this is something that, this is really how you can go through and have quick and easy reports in order to make sure you're measuring what's the, the action that we truly care about and what's our cost per action to make sure we know what's producing the best financials. The other thing you can do is you, if you come and create a new campaign, if you clicked on conversions, uh, I would just call this JB example conversions. And what the first thing you're gonna do is inside of your ad account, you have to pick your conversion. So inside of here, you can come through and let's say I just change this to mass market path page view. We can come in and optimize our campaigns for people who land on this page view. So once again, this becomes really important as you're using what we call pixel funnels to move your optimization up and down in your funnel to figure out what's gonna produce the most volume and best cost per action. You need to be doing this with all of your campaigns to make sure that you are optimizing and reporting correctly with your Facebook ads. If you have any questions, feel free to post them down below in the comments. If you have specific questions about your campaigns, make sure to check out our Pro League Forum. It's a community we've built that allows you to ask specific questions of your campaigns, of Justin Brooke, myself, and lots of other advertisers that have spent millions of dollars on Facebook. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like more information about how to succeed with paid traffic, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll be notified every time we put out a new video. Second, text Daily Edge to 44222. We'll send you a link to our daily newsletter, which has more than 20,000 subscribers learning about the bleeding edge information in paid traffic. Thanks so much. Have a great day.